For most motion applications, the standard motion control function blocks inside of SysMax Studio are going to give you everything you need for handling all the motion control profiling. However, sometimes we'll run into an application where there's some sort of custom linkage or other custom kinematics that don't allow those standard function blocks to provide the type of control that you need. So to handle those types of situations, inside SysMax Studio is a function block called MC Sync Move Absolute. And what this function block does is it allows you to select an axis, so in this case, MC axis zero, and send scan by scan position data to that particular axis. So in this case, I'm using this variable axis triple zero underscore command pause. And I'm populating the data for this particular variable in the structured text line directly above. So in here, what I'm doing is taking this commanded pause and saying that it is equal to 100 times the sign of the virtual master command position. Now in this particular axis, I've set up the virtual master to be a zero to 360 sawtooth wave. So it's just gonna run from zero to 360, roll back over to zero. And we should see then that if we run the virtual master at a constant speed, that the MC axis zero, because it's following a sinusoidal path, is gonna just run a sinusoidal path. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put this in simulation mode and we'll show you how this works. Now anytime you're gonna be linking uh, one axis to another, you wanna make sure that when you enable those axes uh, to start following, that they're basically at the same position. Uh, so that if you enable the sync move to follow a master axis, you don't want some sort of big jump to occur. So what I'm gonna do for here is I'm just actually gonna do this by sending them both to home so that they're both starting at a zero position. Now that they're both at the same uh, basically commanded position, I'm gonna enable the MC sync move absolute function block. Now this is an execute style function block, which means it's only looking for a rising edge trigger to run. So it will run until an MC stop command is given. So now that I have that running, I'm gonna come into my data trace. I'm going to start the data trace and it's gonna be looking for uh, the execution of this function block to begin doing the data trace, which is the MC move velocity command. So I am basically uh, telling this virtual master to run at a set speed and then we'll see how the two axes follow. So I will execute this, and then you can see down in the structured text line below that the equations are running. It's actually going ahead and uh, giving that data scan by scan. And now uh, the data trace is completed. And if I come into it, you can see the sawtooth wave is the virtual master running from zero to 360, and the yellow trace is the MC axis zero running a sinusoidal wave from negative 100 to positive 100. You can use really any sort of equation that you need to create inside this structured text. It's really just a matter of figuring out what that kinematic equation is. So once you have your kinematic equation, use the MC sync move absolute and you can handle just about any type of kinematic equation you can run into.